Welcome to Evening Prayer on Saturday, the Saturday before the first Sunday of Advent. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Psalm 27, verse 1, 3 to 6 and verse 8. O L the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. Though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me and set me high upon a rock. Therefore will I offer his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Let us say the glory be together. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. There will now be a time of silent prayer. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us. Cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm tonight is Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Oh, where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light around me become night. Even the darkness is not dark for you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you that formed me in my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know them well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. Oh, that you would kill the wicked, O God, and that the bloodthirsty would depart from me. Those who speak of you maliciously and lift themselves up against you for evil. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? Do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. You say the Gloria. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
There will now be a piece of music for you to reflect to. Scripture reading, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. A short reflection. Tomorrow is the first Sunday of Advent, and this is a time of waiting. We're waiting for the coming again of Jesus, although he has come. And it is because of love that Jesus came. And Meister Eckhart described God's love as the upward gravity of love. We're always being drawn to that. When we stop and wait, we can sense that. And COVID-19 is giving us this time to stop and wait. And here's just a reflection upon that upward gravity of love. You are the one who falls so you can find me in the deep downward tumble of life. Like a stone that descends intending ever down to where it comes to rest. And just so there where I fall is where you wait and how you call. O oh, fall with me all the way, the long way down, and so reach me through the call that rises impossibly as the upward gravity of love. So that is God's love falling down and calling us upward to him always and ever. So during this next short period of time, have a time of reflection just to reflect on that verse from John that God so loved the world that he gave his only son and just let those words fill your hearts and minds and see what they say to you tonight.
And now our final prayer, that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Now follows a sung version of the Nunc Dimittis. Good night.